If you have a flood in your bathroom, there are several things you should do immediately. If the bathroom is flooded, it's best to remove any standing water. Use a wet slash dry vacuum to get rid of excess water. If the water isn't too heavy, open cabinet doors to allow the air to circulate. If the flooding is extensive, turn on fans to dry out the area. Clean up the water as quickly as possible. The first step is to move away any items that may have become soaked by water. You can use a wet dry vacuum to remove excess moisture. It's important to move all furniture away from the bathroom and remove any valuable items. Also, open up cabinets to allow fresh air into the bathroom. A fan is also a great idea to help the room dry out. Once the floor has dried, you can move on to other things such as getting rid of mold. Remember to turn off all appliances before you enter the bathroom and let it air out. If it's a wet room, never plug in an extension cord or use the power outlet in a wet area. If you can't get the floor dry, consider hiring a professional water damage restoration company like Retech Incorporated. When you've rescued your home from flooding, you should first remove any electrical items and find out what caused the flood. If the water is due to a broken pipe, shut off the main valve before leaving the home. You should also take care to clean up all the contaminated towels and rags. Once these steps have been taken, the bathroom will be safe for use. If you're unsure about what to do with the flood, hire a professional to do the work. The first step in addressing a flood is to shut off the water supply. If you don't know how to do this, you should consult with a professional. When the water has flooded your bathroom, the first thing you should do is turn off the water and close all faucets. Once you've completed this, you should start drying off the area. Then, wipe down the toilet and other surfaces, such as the sink and countertops. When it's time to repair your bathroom, try to save as much as possible. You'll be surprised at how much water damage you can fix yourself, depending on the type of damage. While it's important to avoid putting yourself at risk, there are certain things you can do to limit the damage to your bathroom. Whether the leak happened from a broken pipe or a burst pipe, it's best to call a professional as soon as possible. Once you've removed the soaked items, Give the bathroom a once-over to check for damage. If you see any mold or other signs of water damage, you should contact a professional. A plumber can help you clean up the walls and repair a bathroom after a flood. You can also hire a professional to clean the bathroom if you're worried about the health risks. After cleaning the bathroom, you can then move on to the next step. If you've had a flood in your bathroom, Make sure you don't have any electric shock hazards. If there's no danger of electrocution, you should remove all soaked items and start the cleanup process. If the flooding has gone on for a long time, you'll want to call a professional in to inspect the affected area. During the cleanup, keep in mind that water and mold damage are the worst things to deal with. If the bathroom is flooded, you should switch off the electricity at the fuse box. The flooded bathroom is a potential electrical hazard. If there are any appliances or electrical devices in the room, be sure to remove them. If your floor has any standing water, you should clean it up with soapy water. When you finished cleaning, it's time to call a professional and call the plumber.